So, hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. Now, this is going to be cutting this uni strut in half because uh, this is my roof rack. I have this much disc, two small bits, so I'm hoping I can get it done with this. Um, but yeah, that, that's, that's the theory at least. Um, and yeah, make sure you subscribe, like the video. And uh, drop a comment down below at the end of the video to let me know how you liked it, what I can improve on and what you didn't like. So yeah, this is going to attach to the T-pieces on the roof. If you know Citroen Relay roofs or Peugeot Boxer roofs, you'll know what I'm on about. And then, basically, I'm going to cut six of these off because there's six mounting points. And then, I'm going to cut the rest of it in half. And then the solar panel is going to mount to this with some brackets. Um, which I have yet to make, just like some angle iron bolted through the solar panel and then bolted into the uni strut using the uni strut nuts. And I'll show you the mechanism for bolting these onto two pieces. I'm cutting it tonight and then tomorrow first thing I'll start putting it on because obviously grinding is very loud so this way I can crack on early in the morning if I need to cut this tonight. So, if anyone's uh, following this as a tutorial, just so you know, you're going to have to file out um, the the holes because they don't just fit. You need to file it about a millimetre or two, um, and then they'll slot over. And I'll show you what you mean, what I mean by slot over, because I'm going to go up there. But for now, I just tested it, and even this little bit isn't enough. So I'm just going to keep going at it, just with a file back and forth um, until it fits. So I think, to save time, I think what you can do is just sand, just get away one side because the problem is, is that it can't go low enough to go under the lip. If you sand one, it shrinks the side of it. I'm going to test that, as you can see I haven't done the top, just the bottom, go test it. Yep, so that technique works perfectly, nothing wrong with that. So the little bit that you file off. So you can see it's this top edge, not this bottom edge. And put that to the outside, and it goes over. You could probably put it to whatever way. No, this bit of sealant is a bit too big. Going from the outside, and then you should be able to, yeah, twist it, which is the whole idea. And then that sits across there. Now it's a bit different to the video I watched, because the video I watched, the guy's making roof bars to go across. Um, so I'm out of breath. <laughs> the filings wore me out. Yeah, so he was creating roof bars to create to put the solar panels on, whereas I'm creating like a lengthways roof bar. Um, so obviously the unit shot's going to go over that way, whereas his was stacked on top of each other like that. So you have to put a bolt to clamp it down onto this T piece so it lifts this up and clamps it to the T piece, and then you have to put another bolt through. Um, with the little special unistrut nuts and then that bolts that to that and the problem is is that obviously that holes oval that way so you can't fit two across so what I'm gonna have to do is from the bottom probably is drill two 10 mil holes or something maybe eight because it is eight mil nuts I'm using and then put that across there and then you'll be able to fit two side by side you probably won't be able to do them up very tight um, but seeing as there's three attachments on each piece I'm sure it'll be fine and uh, I'll get it tight with a spanner probably just not a ratchet so let's go test the others yeah you got to do it from the outside in and then twist and then again outside in and then twist so <clears throat> good morning everyone welcome back to the roof now I did a little test yesterday it all seemed to work so what we want this is as far back as it can possibly go, so about there, and then because I'm doing it this way and the holes are the wrong way around, I'm going to have to adjust the hole by drilling two new ones. And uh, if you're asking how I'm doing it, I'm not quite sure yet. <laughs> Just sort of making it up as I go along. I'm using 
M8 bolts and I've got 10 mil drill bit. Okay guys, so I think you can see now. So if I put that there, right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one of these Unistrut nut things under here, like that, and then stick that in, like, it's a bit fiddly, but it does work. I did just test it, and then I had to take it down to um, drill the other two. Right, get it slot under there, otherwise this one won't fit in. And then put that one in there, and line that hole up down there. Because what I did, as you may have been able to see, is drill two 10 mil holes, and these are eight mil bolts, so it gives me a little bit of flexibility, a little bit of room to play with. And then you just sort of do these up, making sure that this one clamps down to as near enough the center of the head as possible, the head of the little T piece on the roof. Sorry if it's a bit windy, we're up on the roof. Um, I found out that it, it sort of wants to be... You want to make sure the, the little piece underneath, this bit here, is slid all the way into the roof. Um, because it won't slide that way because the bend. Um, so it won't slide this way. And then you just sort of do it up onto the head and it slots in quite nicely. I'm not gonna do them up massively tight until I've got them all in, um, because at the moment I've got a little bit of flexibility back and forth, which is why I did 10 mil holes rather than eight mil. All right, so I've still got that little bit of play in there, so now let's go do the other one, or the other two. And it should be the exact same. I haven't actually done it on this one yet. This is first time on this one. So I've just got a bag of each. Uh, a bag of 20 of each, I think just so, so because the worst thing I want is to get here and then realize I'm one or two short so I just got a few more than I thought I needed because that's always the way to go so yeah the best way is to sort of center the first one so you can get the head in like so and then do it up a bit so that the little head sticks under there and is out the way because otherwise you can't get this one in which needs to go in like that. And then I think like this one that actually clamps this bit of strut to this one um, wants to be more under that and this one comes out a bit um, from my last testing. Quite a fiddly job but I'm glad it works seeing as I spent like 70 quid on this. But it was then, it was about 65, 60 pounds to buy a set of those brackets and it just wouldn't have worked on this roof as well because of the way the size of the panel and the way the roof curves because this panel is going to come up to like here on the roof just just near the curve it's not going to overhang the actual body but it's going to come near the curve so now I've done that one up that's almost tight let's go to the last one so here's what I did what I did is I obviously put this one in first because you need to tuck that one under um, and then put this one in I guess you could do either I found when this head was still in here, you can't fit two heads in between the narrow bit here. One has to be tucked under. And then what you want to do is you want to tighten these onto the um, T piece of the heads. So if I show you around here, if you take a look. So if you take a look under there, you can see the bolt going through there, through the um, the nut, the Unistrut nut thing, uh, and then onto the head and that's just tightened and it lifts it up and then you want to clamp that one down first you want to do that to all of them so then this bottom piece of Unistrot is now fastened to the roof and then what you want to do is you want to go and fasten and tighten up the second lot these ones and tighten this bit of long Unistrot to the small bits and then once you do that it's rock solid I can rock the whole van with it so that should be able to nicely hold the solar panel. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some L brackets on here or maybe just cut up some angle iron and then bolt that through using the Unistrut nuts into the end, tighten that up nice and tight and then just put a nut and bolt through the solar panel 
and that way you can take it off, swap the solar panel, change the size of the solar panel and there's no holes in the roof, no chance for leaking etc. The hole for the uh, solar cables is going to go here and so yeah, it's looking good. I've just got to do that side now obviously, and I've done that side. So I think you get the idea, so I'm going to come back to you once I've put the other side on and then that will probably be near the end of this video. So, good morning everyone. It's about quarter past eight on Sunday morning. Um, and because my van's still not in the sun, it's wet. And I don't like going up here with shoes because, you know, it's freshly painted. I don't want to get it covered in mud. So, I'm going to stand on this ladder because I just came to start editing the Unistrap video, looked through the footage and realised I didn't finish uh, off the video. Like I said, I was going to... Um, uh, finish off this side and then show you and that'll be the end of the video um, yeah it was the end of the video <laughs> so it turns out the Unistrut is galvanized because most of it is but I did come across a listing on eBay that was stainless and I couldn't remember if that was the order that was the one that I ordered but it wasn't so about a day after I cut it um, I noticed some rust so I had to uh, um, slap some of the, this paint on it because this paint is uh, obviously rust-oleum so it's rust prevention so if you have a look over here I mean I did talk you through what I did but I mean honestly it is solid as anything the solar panel is now on which will be next week's video I was going to make them two videos but I just want to make this directly about the uni strut so as you can see you got that one nice and tightly not too tight though because it doesn't it doesn't it's not like a, if you're clamping like a nut and a bolt together and they're they're clamping on something it won't stop so you don't want to go too tight I was worried I might shear the head off or something or screw too far in and it would actually weaken it so I got it pretty strong and it wobbles a little bit but that's this actual plate here if I actually show you what's going on that's this plate that the stud is set, sitting on that's actually wobbling um, and when the solar panels on and you've got things joining from this one to that one uh, they rigid they make it all rigid um, but literally I can rock the whole van with it no problem whatsoever um, yeah I can't I can't complain if you wanna if you've got a Citroen Relay, Fiat Ducato, Iveco um, your Peugeot your Boxer <laughs> you know all of them uh, yeah go with these they, they are it's the way to go um, no holes drilled, literally the panel only just fit, but you, you'll see that in the next video. Yeah, I've got both of them on, there's the panel, little junction box for the panel, and then the unistrut, and obviously they're attached in three places. So for it to fail and fall off the roof, <laughs> both of these bolts have to come loose and out, because then this bottom piece has to then turn on all three, so six bolts, Three bolts have to come out because if you get one bolt out, then the other one will go into the uh, slot uh, down there, go into the slot and then move across and then it would be able to turn. That has to happen three times. So three bolts have to come out, three of these have to turn around and then it can fly off the roof. So I think it's, it's a pretty uh, fail safe way of attaching things to your roof without drilling holes and pretty cheap if you ask me because if you buy the actual unistrop uh, if you buy the actual roof bars they're about 70 quid each i think like or maybe it's like 100 quid for a pair or something so you, you it's a good idea doing this because you can have roof bars going that way because the roof bars that they do for these go across but this is good because i could put a deck across here if i wanted to um or anything like that so this is the way I'm going to do it in future, and yeah, I'd recommend it. Really good way, really strong, sturdy, and fairly cheap. So yeah, if anyone's looking for a tutorial on this, because I know there's one other video, which is where I got the idea from, but I don't think there's any others. And he's all right at explaining it, but obviously it takes, you, you got to be okay at editing too. Um, so I hope this one helps as well. And this is the long roof bars, which was a bit of a challenge. You had to drill two holes for each one. Um, so if you want to do it this way or the roof bar way, let me know in the comments what you think about this solution and whether you would do it or not. And I really appreciate that. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment down below, hit the subscribe button, and hit that bell icon while you're down there. And I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.